That's an old tune called Going Down the Road Feeling Bad. I learned that from listening to uh, an older songs to the late, great John Cephas. What I like about this uh, song is the melody, which is the same melody that I'll sing in a minute, but um, it's not always that I play on the top strings the same melody or more or less the same melody that I'm singing. But the effect is, is pretty um, powerful, I think, when you get those two voices singing in unison. Um, when it comes to finger picking, um, that's one of the things you can do to, uh, to accompany a song, actually play part or the whole of uh, the vocal melody in the top strings of the guitar. So the song goes like this. Well, I'm going down that road feeling bad. Going down that road feeling bad. Going down that road feeling bad. Honey, babe, I ain't going to be treated this way. The inside strings also provide some kind of a, an interesting ongoing accompaniment. What I think is what, uh, what is fascinating about finger picking, that alternating thumb thing, is you get a bass line from the top, the, the two bass strings, the A and the D and the E, those three strings. You get a melody in the first two strings often, but the inside strings also give you another part. So basically you got three parts going, three lines, the bass line, the top melody line, and those inside strings. I grew up um, studying a bit of classical guitar, so I um, was fascinated by how much you could get out of your actual three fingers and a thumb. Um, I anchor my pinky often. And um, yeah, you kind of have to find a way to, to roll it, to make the, the music sound like it doesn't have bar lines, it should flow. Typically, Thumb picking would involve an alternating uh, pattern between, let's say, the sixth and the fourth string or the sixth and the fifth string. But um, that's a good place to start, foundation wise. But you don't have to stick to that pattern. What you can do is, if you're trying to find a melody, trying to pick out a melody, you find a way to keep the bass part, the, the, the alternating part, going, but you don't have to slavishly stick to it. You can. So in other words, I'm using, sometimes I'm playing two notes, two times on the same string and not alternating. So what I'm trying to say is you can break it up. You don't have to um, be too, um, <laughs> too uh, obsessive about uh, a pattern. You can make it fit your, your song, your arrangement. But it's a good place to start. The shapes in the left hand are pretty simple, you know, I'm playing a C chord, a C7, an F like that. But the, um, the, the, the fun part comes when you can augment those shapes with little side fills, for example. That. All those little details, curly cues, that make it fun. But they come in time. I think it's a, important to get a basic solid, steady arrangement. And those little embellishments, they come with time. You don't start out with those. You basically start out with something really. Oh, and when the weather suits my clothes, honey, baby, I ain't gonna be treated this old. 